Hi, I'm Liam Genter. I'm the Urban Forestry Specialist for the City of Columbia Heights, and today we're at the uh, Community Gravel Bed. So the trees have turned out great this year. We got great leaf out. Uh, we got a lot of growth on the trees. Um, a ton of roots, uh, fine root mass, which is really the, the, the whole point of the gravel bed. And so these trees are doing great. They're really healthy. And uh, they should have a really good survival and success rate when we plant them uh, along streets and in parks throughout town. So we first put these trees in when they arrived in May, um, using a skid steer mainly to uh, pour the gravel and bury the trees in. And since that time, we've been watering them on an automated watering system. Um, it uh, has six sprinklers and it waters for about 100 minutes a day. Um, and uh, it may sound like a lot, but there's uh, 200 trees in this small area, so it's calling for a lot of water. So one of the big goals in urban forestry is to increase the diversity of our city's trees. And that's reflected in this year's uh, planting cohort. We have 15 different species, including uh, swamp white oak, northern catalpa, Kentucky coffee tree, honey locust, Yellowwood, and several others. So the gravel bed is a new project this year. This is our first year uh, healing the bare root trees in in the gravel and planting them in the fall. But going forward, this is gonna be the, the new planting method here at Columbia Heights. It's gonna allow us to plant more trees. Uh, we're planting around 200 this year, and I would like to keep the number that we plant annually uh, up near 200. And uh, the gravel is a reusable product. We'll be using the same gravel for the next 20 to 30 years. Uh, many of these trees are being planted as uh, part of a Emerald Ash Borer Management Grant we received from the Department of Natural Resources. Um, so we're removing 300 ash trees uh, over the next three years. And the trees in the gravel bed are gonna allow us to replace those with uh, large healthy trees that'll quickly fill the spots that were vacated in the landscape. So planting starts each morning with uh, removing the trees from the gravel bed. The ones that are easily accessible, uh, we use the skid steer to aid us in the removal and it goes very nicely. But the ones in the back here, those uh, are not accessible with the machine so it requires a little good old fashioned shovel work. Um, uh, once the trees are removed from the gravel bed, we dip them in a hydrogel solution to keep the roots nice and wet. And then we uh, place them in the back of a truck and bury them in a moist mulch uh, where we transport them to their planting sites. Uh, the bare root trees are really easy to handle and plant. Uh, with the aid of a machine with an auger, we're able to plant uh, around 20 trees a day.